we are in your corner and you took this last year and you said, no, I'm gonna come back on and nothing's done. Usually I'm pissed about someone's situation, not their actions, but since you've been on here and chose to do this, I'm upset at you because your future matters and you chose what you did that it clearly doesn't. My name is Candace. I'm 34 years old. I'm from Temple, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. So what do you do for a living? I am a product photographer. Product photographer, that's right, that's right, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I mean, I have I have your whole thing. We watched your episode and we're coming back for a follow-up. This is a follow-up. This is this. You do not have to have seen the first episode. This is like any other Financial Audit, so. Here we go. We're jumping into it. So yeah, product. Now you were making forty eight thousand dollars a year last time, or four thousand dollars a month. What are you making now? So I think now it's like just under fifty k, and I bring in. Well, it was just under fifty k. Well, oh, so you got like a thousand five hundred more. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, so post taxes, I bring home three thousand, and then two hundred of well 100 of each of my checks go into sofi savings just so i can have like it automatically goes in the savings so i don't even see it it just goes in there i don't think that was a part of our plan though no it wasn't a part of the plan but i wanted to then why are we deciding to do that especially when you've gone into more like debt well i wanted to have an emergency fund i, I needed something yeah, okay, you didn't so have a one month saved up? No. Okay, well, one month saved up. Obviously, that is a part of it. So, it's been a year. Yeah. Give us the rundown, because this doesn't look like things are fantastic um, by any means. It's It's been a year, for sure. I've definitely done a lot more and accrued a lot more. Not not a lot more debt, but more Why? debt. Why? Well, I, I I didn't mean to. Things just happened, and I didn't have an emergency fund, so I couldn't pull from that to fix it. You know, it. on average, the people who have sat on this desk and left pay off $8,500 within seven months of bad debt. Why the f*** are you? Uh, I'm working on it. Okay, come on. <laughs> no, 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 why not you? I just... Working on it, it's been a year. Yeah, well, I... I You'll get, you'll see, you'll see what I've been up to. So the so. hard part, just for y'all's information out there. So my team does a deep dive on the follow-up guests. Uh, usually, you know, we all do beforehand and then, uh, but I like to come into the follow-up blind because I want to know what's going on. But right. I was told that the debt situation is not great and I was prepared for that. And now I'm okay. 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 Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Okay. So you're 16. It was a... If you kept your current income and your income only went up barely, it would take 16 years to pay it off. So you had to double your hours or get a side gig to make any progress. So for your solution, if you took up some more hours and snowballed your debt. So. So what'd you do? Have you gotten another job? Yes. Yeah. Really? How yeah. much? What are we doing? I'm doing Instacart on the side. Like, uh, okay. What, I mean, it's no, I know, I know that is just a little less predictable though. So, but that's okay. That's okay. What, what are you bringing in on average? So average per month, like I work weeknights and weekends and I bring every in every day. Yeah. I mean, if there's orders worth oh, heck yeah. okay. with good tips, well, I do how it. is that in temple? I'm sorry. I interrupted. No, it's okay. It's, um, it's more popular than I thought. So, uh, on average, it's anywhere between an extra 400 and 600 a, a week. Month. I wish it was a week, but is that no. the proper side job then instead of working hourly somewhere well, in I the mean, evenings? So I work my regular nine to five. And yep. then as soon as I get off, I get online with the Instacart and I just get orders. Like my average is. You said extra two to 300 or 300, 400. What was it? Per how long? Per month? No, extra four to 600 a month. Four to 600 a month. Okay. Yeah. I try to get at least. How many hours do you think you're working? Um, it varies. Like how many hours on average are you working? Four to six hundred dollars a month. How many hours on average are you working? Uh, it's. I really can't say. Come on. I don't. I don't know the hours. I just know the. No, money. on average, you're going. It's a normal week. What are you doing? I, how many hours? I don't it's, know. it's every day, right? It's every day. It's not every. Day. Okay. Eight to ten, a week, extra, maybe. Hours. Maybe I don't know. It's not a lot. I just I get good tips. So. Well, if it's 10 hours, then it's, you're getting 400 bucks. It's 10 bucks an hour. Yeah, no, I mean, 
I usually okay. But then depreciation on your car. Yeah. Gas. Right. And you're setting money aside for taxes. Sort of. It's important to stay up to date with the latest news, especially if the news may influence your money. With that in mind, I'm excited to introduce you to today's sponsor, Ground News. I only partner with businesses I believe in or trust, and Ground News is a game changer when it comes to understanding news biases and breaking free from the influence of news algorithms. Their app and website gathers articles from around the globe, providing context on political leanings, reliability, and ownership. Take this headline on student loans. Biden administration to forgive $4.9 billion in student debt for 73,600 borrowers. Ground News analyzed almost 200 sources, presenting summaries from the left, center, and right perspectives based on ratings from three independent news monitoring organizations. Left-leaning sources focus on the relief for borrowers, while some center and right-leaning outlets emphasize the potential cost to taxpayers. It's crucial to see all sides of a story, especially when it affects your money. With Ground News, you can compare headlines, check bias distribution, and even discover news not covered by one side of the political spectrum. Personally, I follow their financial page to make sure I stay in the loop with critical financial news. So go to ground.news forward slash Caleb to try it out. By using my link, you'll receive a 30% discount on their unlimited Vantage plan. The same plan I personally use to stay on top of current events. At less than $1 a month, it's a teeny tiny investment for huge insights. That's ground.news forward slash Caleb or click the link in the description below. Well, I mean, I talked to my tax guy and he was just like, set a little bit aside and then make sure you track your mileage and we can uh, write it off. that's a star. That's basic level. Yeah. So I, I don't know. How walk us just... Okay. We were care credit 181, Bank of America 546, Best Buy 1905, Credit Union 8721, student loan 73,177 dollars, mortgage 117,000 dollars and you owed your family 9,000 dollars. How are we looking today? Just um, how has your life just give us the last year of Candace. Ooh. Um I I feel better. I feel like I'm in a better place, maybe not financially, but I feel like I'm more aware of <laughs> the bad decisions I've made. Um, I definitely still track everything, but- Track everything and more aware. Then why, sorry, continue. It's okay. Continue. I, uh, I, I, I'm not perfect and okay but look i'm not perfect oh that's <laughs> such a bold that's such a cop out that well that's what i got i mean i can't really i did what i did and i can't I, change what, it what if I'm, i walked over there and i punched you and i was like sorry guys i'm not perfect uh um, that's an excuse it it's oh, not a no. reason no i uh, please don't punch me I, I would never punch you i'm not a, okay I wouldn't, <laughs> i'm not a physical anger kind of person all oh, right that's just an example of just like you can't just f you're not out because of that what you're do you not mean? what do you mean i'm not out you're not just excused because of it you oh can't yeah, use that yeah, as yeah. a cap out yeah how, so how are you tracking things every month no, no no how are you tracking things how are you more aware of your issue but after 365 plus days okay let's look, jump into your financial situation. yeah look at it. Look your at hammer it. financial score was one out of ten last time what do you think it is today two out of ten really so you've improved you're I've, telling me you're improved. Yeah, things have ha some things have improved, some things have not. You'll see. If you want to get your hammer financial score, you can get it for free in the description below. Okay. Texel. This is the credit union. Right to the credit union. Yeah. Let's compare it to the last one. I have a checking and a savings there too. The balance did go down. Not as much as it should have in a year. Not yeah. as much as it should have in a year. But I'm glad to see there's no spending on this. No. I just paid two fifty a month. Minimum being one nineteen. Okay. Yes. Why are you putting a little extra to this one specifically? Like, what's your process that you've been trying to do? Yes, you brought it down from eight thousand seven hundred twenty-one to five thousand nine hundred sixteen. We can celebrate that over the course of a year. Maybe not, but a little bit. It, it is better. It is. It is better. Yeah. I. So let me absolutely just. When something's better, it's better. Right. Now, why is it not more? Why? Oh, why haven't I paid more? Uh -oh. And why are you putting a little extra to this? What's your strategy? What's your debt payoff strategy that you're trying to do? Um, I'm just, that's just what I had.
calculated was a good amount and that I could afford to put towards it. So. What was your calculation based off of? What were you calculating? Good amount how? What was the math? Just I wanted to pay more. Like, Why? Instead I, of extra debt. We talked about snowballing last time. This isn't snowballing. What is this? Avalanching? No, because you'd be putting everything towards one debt. You're just putting a little extra to this. Oh. So I'm confused. Why did you leave here? We had a concrete plan to get you out of debt and change your life forever. And you're like, no. Uh, honestly, it went a little fast last time. So. Yeah, but the video is there. Yeah, I know. And you could have emailed. Yeah, I know. And there's the Discord. I probably should have followed And up. you get the budgeting program for free. Yeah. I, I, I need we to- connect you with resources, man. You had us at your full disposal, just like any other guest. True. And you get like the fucking like what I legitimately think is like the best online budgeting program in the world. Have you taken it? No, not yet. You get it for free and you haven't taken it and it's I been it's existed for like four months. I didn't know. What do you I mean? Get, I didn't know I could get it for free. All right, what do you mean? We reached out and gave it to you. You might have. I, I don't check my emails a lot. Well, are you in the private Discord? Yes, but I don't know how to use Discord. Oh, good. I'm look. I'm 34. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how We're that five works. years apart. I what? I don't, I don't know what how Discord works. Thirty four is not like you're ninety in a rocker. What? Well, yeah. But it's it's fine. It's I, fine if you don't know how Discord works. I mean, works. I'd rather the hang out The excuse of being thirty four was weird though. Well, <laughs> like that's an ancient number. I don't, I don't do those type of apps and stuff. That's okay. You should consider joining it though. Just I'd watch a thirty second YouTube video and I mean, it's I'm very in, easy. I'm Have you ever it. used Slack in your life? No. What is that? Never I just mind. thought you may have in the workplace. No. I'd rather just be hanging out in my rocker. <laughs> you okay? <sighs> this is... We're just going... There's just a lot. Okay. No worries. But you did put $250 to this, and that is more than the minimum monthly payment, so I am happy about that. Yes. I, I really am. I'm confused in your process, and I want to look through, but... Okay. We're like, 33 bucks a month is lost. Okay. Care credit. That's... That's a big one. My dog had to have emergency surgery. Oh, no. Yeah. What happened? He had a punctured salivary gland in his neck. And it started, it started to swell. And it was like getting to the point where it could cut off his breathing. Oh, my gosh. So I had to bring him to Round Rock, like a specialty vet. To, All uh, the way in Round Rock from Temple? Yeah. Because his normal vet couldn't take care of it. So we had to do emergency surgery. Wow. So that's why that. How's the surgery go? How's the pup? Oh, he's great now. He's a okay, good old floof. A good old floof. What kind of dog? Husky. Why did I recommend getting pet insurance to you specifically? I don't recall. I recommend it to a lot of people with pets. It saved me thousands of dollars and it would have saved you thousands of dollars. Oh, yeah. Pet I know. insurance in the future. Let's put it in your budget at the end. Okay. Pet insurance in the future. F- I get it. Yeah, no. I get it. Well, let me see then. Oh, this doesn't make any f- sense. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life today, right now. What's that? Your dog was sick. Yeah. You took care of your dog. Yeah. You put it on a credit card. I put it on care credit. Yeah. That's okay. You didn't have the money and you're getting on a thing and you're not going to let your dog die. Right. Then you go and pay it off as quick as possible instead of spending $600 in a single month on fast food. You Mm -hmm. pay it off. It's okay if you then grind to pay it off. $600 a month in fast food. Do we not remember the conversation we had last time? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I don't. I didn't really think it was that much. You said you track your. Sh- I do. I do. Then no, you don't. Then you don't look at it. You track it, but you don't look at it. Pretty much. Oh come on. It's more of just like that's a the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Again. Yeah. Well, remember I'm spreadsheets. That's what you called me last time. Huh? You called me spreadsheets last time because I like spreadsheets. Okay, then I, I, look I, at them. Yeah, I should probably look at. Build them, them and then look at them. <laughs> Four thousand six hundred. Sixteen dollars. When does the interest-free period of this end? Soon, uh, March fourteenth. Oh, kill me! And you put uh, two hundred fifty dollars towards this on a monthly basis. Yeah. Again, that's a, that's a weird thing. Like you're making inc- a little more than the minimum progress on all these. First of all, it doesn't even make any sense. This is interest-free, and the other one's gaining like thirty percent interest. So why wouldn't that extra money go towards this? Like, what was the logic? Where are you in this? I don't know. Like, oh I come on, I- ex- explain it. Be like, this is why I did it, and this is, and then it happened. I wish I could tell you where I came oh. up with the numbers, but they... What am I supposed to do if you don't even know how I, or why? Like, what can I, like, object to and teach you if you don't know why you did something? You can teach me how much to put towards each thing. I already did. You can tell Last me time. again. How's it going to change after a year? It'll, it'll, 
How? Like, Why? Like, What's I, different? What's different sitting here right now than last year? My headspace, I guess. Like, oh, go on. I, if I'm told like, hey, you need to specifically put this to this and this to that, I'll do it. And how is that different from last time? When you very clearly did not? I don't I don't think I had specifics last time. So maybe this time. No, no, no. We talked about going through the snowball method. We talked about needing to get the income to a certain point. Then we talked about going through the snowball method. Snowball method is very clear. Uh, that's the one where you do it at one at a time, right? Okay. 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 Maybe I just... No, no, no. If you don't know it, it's... Oh. Well, that's a nice little surprise. <laughs> See, I was getting all upset. But this has made me happy. Any chance the pup is here? No, he's not here. Oh, dang. That would have been awesome. Sorry. It's okay. Next time. Next time. Hey, well, next time you better f better be paid off. Yeah, hopefully. Bank of America. This is basically, I mean, it was the smallest balance. What's the point of having a balance on? No. No. See? All the progress you lost on the credit union, or all the progress you made on the credit union is now lost. It's ruined. It's destroyed. So what the f So I've been using my Bank of America credit card as like my everyday spending on anything. What the f why? Because I You're losing $68.17 in interest. So How is this possibly your spending account? That's aggressively dumb. So it wasn't I didn't always have a cringe interest accruing I no have. last time it was 400 546 dollars no. 546 dollars you were at the point you were at the point where you could have paid this thing off and you would have had a credit card paid off that would have been so awesome when we could have hugged and it would have been great instead you come here and this sh this sh is it two thousand two hundred eighty six dollars and ninety seven cents that ruins me that ruins me 34 your ancient 34 you're threw away the last year of your life no no i so since I was here last, I would use the card and pay it off every month. I ran, hold on, I ran into the some issues in November because I had to pay for some extra stuff, like I had to get new glasses, and that's yeah, why. Yeah, who would have thought and issues never pop up, right? Yeah, I know. So that's why I've been building my emergency fund. That's why I've like, I'm I'm gonna pay this off. So there won't be any it's more not a choice. There won't be any more interest accruing, but it. it I, I feel bad because it's recent. Go oh, good death. Good death. So it's only been two months. Good this. insanity. What is happening? Starbucks, El Perito, Amazon, Amazon, NAMI, Buffalo Wild Wings. Natural Groceries is an expensive way to shop. Buffalo Wild Wings, Jack in the Box, BJ's Restaurant, BJ's Restaurant, Jack in the Box. Team fans shop? Taco Bell, Starbucks, green sausage house. This is insanity. You're trying to pay this off. Why are you... You didn't change your ways at all. Yeah. This is so sad. No, you didn't. What do you mean? Look at this spending. I'm only halfway through. Cha Community, Weirdos Cafe, Saigon Cafe, Jack in the Box, Buffalo Wild... You go to eat out every second of your life. Takiera, if I can never say that word, Waterburger, Wendy's, Team Fan Shop again, Susie's, Grooming. Dog's got to be groomed. Yeah, that, okay, I'm, I'm allowing that one. Starbucks, Amazon, Jack in the Box, Pizza, not allowing that one, Waterburger, Cotton Patch Cafe, Rosa's Cafe, Zaxby's, Jack in the Box. And I thought you wanted to change your life and do, do f better. I do. No, you. Do. If you did, your actions would show it. I know. You're right. Doesn't no. Honestly, like I a realized whole year, I went through last time, and showed you just how bad your finances were, so that I could light a fire under your. Uh, your so I could get you to understand your income to debt situation, yeah. your spending situation, so that you could fix your life and I give you a path to fix your life. Then you come here one year later, your spending is as ridiculous as ever. Your debt went down on one card and was replaced on another card. And that debt that was replaced on that card is all bullshit eating out stupidity. This is embarrassing. It is. 
It really is. Like, you don't realize if how much... If it's embarrassing, well, then why the f You don't realize how much you you spend when, you, when you're out. Because I'm out doing deliveries no, and stuff. No. So last I go time, out... Last time! Last time we made a budget! Make a budget every single freaking time! You just follow the budget! It doesn't... You don't need to know how much you go out to eat because in the budget there was no going out to eat and you go out to eat twice a day now still so what's the no no how many days do you think are in a month how many things did i just call out okay once a day at a minimum yes all right if that's what it says then that's what it says but i don't i don't think and so you are that. not there's no tracking there's no self-awareness i'm sorry i'm i'm gonna be a little rude because this is this is so sad you just threw away a year like, you know how much progress you could have made you'd have been uh if you did what we followed you'd have been one four wait one fourth of the way through this and instead we're in a, basically a worse position worse position we are in a worse position the vet thing that was out of your control but you could have started paying it off yeah. but instead jack in the box it's not, it's not funny. Good. It's not even that good. It's not good, yeah. and it's not funny. No. This is your life here, dude. This isn't a content thing. Oh, I know. This, isn't a, this is your life that you're doing, that you're actually throwing away. Right. And you're a guest that came on my show. You, I root for you more than like anyone else in the world because you came on this show. We connect you with resources. We build out for you so we can get you connected and cheer each other on and go through education for free and all this and you can you have access to us at any and every time and every time we launch a product we'll have you guys through it go through it for free we are in your corner and you took this last year and you said no i'm gonna go to jack in the box then i'm gonna come back on and nothing's done I, I'm legitimately pissed. Usually I'm pissed about someone's situation, not their actions, but since you've been on here and chose to do this, I am upset at you. I am upset at you. I'm upset at you because your future f***ing matters and you chose through your what you did that it clearly doesn't, according to you. Sorry you're pissed at me. How are you? It doesn't... Be pissed at yourself. Be sorry for yourself. This isn't about me. This isn't even close to about me. Sure, the channel name is my name, but this isn't about this or this. This is about f***ing you. Hey, okay. Sorry, I am mad. I am mad. I'm sorry. I know my emotions are showing like crazy right now, but this is this, I'm this is very upsetting. Best Buy. We are at one thousand nine hundred five. We're at a thousand sixty four. So a little off. Paid off about half. No purchases. Thank f Again, a little more than the minimum monthly payment. I don't know what the strategy is here. You're making very small progress and then building up two other cards. Well, that one is zero interest if it's paid off within the promotional period. When does the promotional period end? Um, For that one, I believe it's September. So I broke it down to where it's $120. November. Like, November, okay. It's $120 to be paid off by that time. With no okay. Purchase. That one I, I know. vibe with that. That one I know. Quicksilver's new. No, it's I've had it. You didn't have a balance on it. Yeah, but that's gonna be paid off soon. Cause everything's gonna be paid off. Well, it wasn't. If it's gonna be paid off, then it should be paid off. It it was it wasn't for me. What? My mom needed some help, and I. But you put it on debt, so you weren't the person to be able to help. There, well, yeah, but there was no interest, and she's already paid me back. I just it just hasn't hit then it would it just hasn't hit the uh, it hasn't hit the statement that's that's the statement it came out before i when does it hit what do you mean when does it hit when does what hit her payment oh it should be done now so you've paid off this card yeah but yeah. i needed to show you because it was there yes absolutely absolutely thank goodness that's risky i'd help my mom too any and every day yeah. But it is risky what you did, especially with the debt situation. Yeah, I just I told her I was like, "Hey, you have until this date, and you have to pay it off before then, before any interest accrues." And she did. So this is a medical debt. I had it last time, but I didn't think to bring it last time, so oh, that's geez. probably why you didn't see it. Yep. Well, I only see things that I see. True. That was on me. So it's fifty bucks a month. Yes. What was this for, and when? Um. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. I've been on it for a while. You don't know what it was for? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's probably a long time ago. I have no idea what it was for. Probably like 
X-rays. Okay. Round point. Mortgage. Went down by a thousand bucks, but that's, you know, mortgage. You're early into it. Yeah. And we're still at, man, so cheap. So cheap. <laughs> $938 a month. It actually went down. It's awesome. It's 909 Wow. Student loans. What is what is the progress been on student loans? Nothing. It is an academic forbearance because I, like I applied for the borrows, borrowers defense, and it's still pending. But there's no, it, it, I don't know. It's it says borrowers it's, defense. Yeah. Where'd you go to school? Art Institute. There's a lot of like stuff going and you're on claiming them. yeah that the school is like fraudulent didn't deliver yeah uh, a lot of people are a lot people, of people are? yeah a lot of people i went what to school? school with huh what school art institute of austin it's no longer around wonder why uh -huh. <laughs> but when was oh. the last time you had to make a minimum monthly payment it saves you on a monthly basis truly i i haven't made a payment in like five years but this borrower's uh, the academic forbearance is until 2026 or when it's not pending anymore. Okay. So that's why I've kind of left it alone. Oh, some of these interest rates are bad. Thank goodness. Yeah. Ooh, some of these interest rates are bad. Right, well. Debt loves you. You love debt. Credit score is 740. So that's it. All right. Is there any more? Uh, I believe that's it. Do you still owe your family anything? Yes. I believe that's it. And then well, I mean. What do you owe your family? Um, I don't know. I know I I I'm on payment twenty two of thirty six, and each payment's three hundred seventy five dollars. You ever missed one? No. Do some basic math real quick. Do some math. Where's your calculator? Figure out where you're at. So I don't know what you started with. I started with thirteen five was the original price. Five thousand two hundred fifty is my remaining balance. Three hundred seventy five dollars a month until like mid next year like i think may of next year and then it's done no interest so i went down from nine thousand to that so you're at least paying good yes student loans is the same mortgage is basically the same credit union went down a little best buy went down a little bank of america went dramatically up care credit pet card went beyond dramatically up 134 dollars in a checking account that's scary as f the mortgage. Uh, that was right before my check hit. I have that doesn't matter. That's terrifying. That should not be a balance well, I still of an adult checking account. That is what it is. Well, I, I know, and I'm telling I, you, it's bad. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's me paying. It's so risky off, as. F that's me paying off everything, and then yeah, pay paying off the f that you decided to go out to eat. Six hundred dollars. Yeah. Remind, yeah. reminder, and we haven't even gone through the other stuff. Yeah. So. Don't just blame that on bills, stuff you're spending and doing. How are the in-game purchases and in-app purchases these days? Very seldom. Good. Like one a month, maybe. Uh, why? Because, I, I mean, that's my pastime. Like, I don't What are go, you playing? Uh, township. Oh. It's like a little farm. I, I mean, I don't go out drinking or clubbing or anything. I just... Yeah, those are the two options, drinking, clubbing, and and buying in-app purchases. Uh, you know, that's that's just what I do. I play my games. I got it, but... Okay. <laughs> Little Caesars, Apple Bill, Tiff's Treats, Shoot Proof, KFC, Arby's. This continues. This is ridiculous. Cash App, ATM, $140. Who knows where the f*** that went? Another Apple Bill. A couple in-app purchases. DoorDash. DoorDash? Uh, sorry, I always get that. Dunkin' Donut, Baskin Robbins. Okay. I always read DD as DoorDash. Okay. Sonic Drive Through, especially since I'm, I've never been through these documents because you're a yeah. follow up. McCallisters, that might be gas. No, that's a sandwich shop. The uh, the ATM withdrawal is for my my family payment. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I pay them in cash. Who? 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 Who do you owe? Who? You sound like an owl. <laughs> sorry i owe my aunt she's the one that loaned me the money and that's who i'm paying back and she wants to be paid back in cash so i withdraw money. porto's delivery 
Portos? Yes. Oh, uh, because you zelled someone money for a Portos delivery. Oh, yeah, because that's only in California. I was like, what? Okay. Yeah, my friend was in California, and I wanted You're her to bring me back something. Stupid. $915 in savings. I. It's probably a little more than that now. What? Give me the balance. I, uh, it's either 100 or $200 more. Since Is it 100 to $200 dollars more? That makes a lot when it's about 1000 Well, it's $100 every check. Is it a thousand? One hundred fifteen or a thousand fifteen? To be on the safe side, thousand fifteen. Oh my gosh. Okay. Potatoes! Your friendly neighborhood finance daddy has some exciting limited time St. Patty's Day crack for ya, but only if you're not acting the maggot. Okay, so my Irish accent isn't great, so I'll, I'll stop that for the rest of this spot now. We always talk about how important retirement savings are here, but remember, it's not luck. It's basic math. And if you want to get there, you need to make sure your black stuff, also known as Guinness, fits in your 50, 30, 20. But if none of these are for you, that's okay. You can still kiss me. I have an emergency fund. Now, feck off. Okay. I mean, it makes a big difference in your situation when we're, when we're about to go through what we're about to go through. Yeah. So fine. Kill her for it. Kill her. Yeah. Good job. Got that from you. Well done. Well done. Yeah. No, no, no. So is great. I use them for my high yield savings and then... That's what this is. Once you start getting investing, yeah. you can start throwing some money in Moomoo, which also has high yield in that before you pick what you're investing in. So that's really cool. That's really cool. My I girl did. using the resources from the store. Or from the store. From the show. I did one good thing. Uh, no, I mean, no, 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 no. You, you put some towards your debt. It yeah. was just repurposed then again towards another card and you're spending so ridiculous. Like... This isn't a positive audit, or this isn't a positive follow-up. This isn't like a, you've gone necessarily worse. This is like we've stayed the same, and that's really disappointing. Yeah. It's like... I, I realized that when I was, like, reviewing everything, and the numbers, they moved, but they stayed the same. Okay. So 13,000 and uh, 401k, it looks like? Yeah. Is this separate? No, this is different. This is the same. It's the same. It yeah. was just updated. Gotcha. Recently. What's it in? I have no idea. 3%. Well, so I should look. Sure. Okay. I don't know. I don't know anything about investing. Retirement. 500. Fidelity large. Yeah, yeah. It looks like you're in probably some target retirement fund of some kind, probably. Good. Sure. Glad it's not just sitting in like, never mind. I'm not going to give investing advice. <laughs> that would be terrible. Okay. What the f can we do? Wait, why are my producers telling me that you want a, you want a new car? Because I need a new car. Oh, f I needed a new car last time, but oh, I f I don't I don't even have the same car anymore because no, it it basically died on me. So no, I'm in a older. What's your current car? 2007 Chevy Tahoe. Miles. 164. Condition. Um, there's a few issues, but it's nothing that I can't. Gosh. It's bet. Look, Gosh. it's. Could you imagine if you just followed what I fucking said last time? We could like, we could like maybe do something. We could maybe do something and get you in a car. Yeah. Gosh, you just made it harder for yourself. This, this is what happens for everyone out there. This is what happens when you just kick the can down the road because just going out and to eat and getting the in-app gems and whatever and just the life we're used to even if you cut back a little and you just sustain a lot of the life you're used to you're just kicking down the can you're kicking the can down the road eventually it just comes a, you just you get to the moment and what are you gonna do you're gonna have no choice just like with the, your dog situation you have no choice but to go into debt and when this car breaks down you'll have no choice but to go into debt well, what are we gonna do we're gonna borrow family money well, like you know like yes your credit score is good but your debt to income ratio is not great so like <sighs> what's a good debt to income ratio i thought it was like 30 oh, percent. you think yours is 30 percent? i thought it was about 33 I think the last well, let's time figure I saw that out it. let's figure that out for you last time i looked um, debt payments total 20.8 percent or 945 dollars Sure. That makes me happy. Should be much higher. That does make me happy. That is progress. You know? Clap of the hands and you can get it. Housing totals 27% or $1,227.55. Your phone is $70 or 1.5%. Who are you using? Um, 
It's a family plan with uh, AT and T. Okay, I just started doing helium. Check that out. You can do like thirty bucks a month, yeah. and if that, because it's like what the f money on you know. Well, that's a phone and watch. Oh, damn it. <sighs> Transportation total one point eight percent or eighty one dollars because it's just gas, but that's gonna wait. What about car insurance? Uh, I don't think we had that reported. No, my family pays for that. You're thirty four. I know it. It it was just part of the car. Like when they gave me the car when I graduated from college. They're like, we'll pay for grocery store, stuff. necessary food, 6.3% or $287.79. Going out to eat again, 12.8% or $581.96. Disgusting, terrible, nasty. You could have added an additional 33% to your debt payments just with your going out to eat. I know. An additional 33%. You would have spe sped it up by 33%. You know how crazy that is? That's unknown hard. shopping that's usually walmart that's amazon it's very hard to determine what it is yeah. and target 306 dollars 40 cents or 6.7 percent hmm. medical health care 50 dollars 44 cents 1.1 percent savings contribution 332 and 71 cents with 7.3 percent um i am happy to see that as well that is an improvement i'm trying miscellaneous <laughs> typical what we call taquitos as you know yeah just definitely don't need it's a little it's minimal but it's an additional 1.6 percent that could have gone towards that for 72 dollars 84 cents and other large purchases were 12 percent 12.9 percent or 587 dollars and 43 cents which were the atm withdraw atm withdrawals of 400 dollars the pet grooming uh, pet grooming it's hard especially with the husky i know the fern just, oh yeah. he's yeah he's he started to blow his coat so we and have, then you Venmo out ninety dollars as well, so those it's kind of hard to account for some of that. These percentages are still quite out of whack. It's the food. It's it's that's the, that's it, the big it's, thing. It's, it's convenient because I'm always out doing orders, and I'm just like I get home late, so I'm just like let me just pick something up. But what if I gifted you like? A tech certification from Course Careers, and you just spent a couple months. Since this is a multi-year debt payoff situation, yeah. like what if I got you a tech certification or something that is like an after hours something you can hop online and do like phone calls for or something? Yeah, you know, yeah, like some I, tech sales or something. What if I did that? I would be interested because okay. I just went with Instacart because it was something I can do and I could do it when I. Well, I know in Austin you could be making much more money than you're making right now, not from just Instacart, not just from Instacart. Yeah, but right now you're ten dollars an hour. No. Yes. Oh, for Instacart. For yeah. Instacart. Oh. And then that's before depreciation on the car that's barely surviving, yeah. before gas, for well, car insurance usually that you're not paying for anyway. Yeah. And uh, thanks, folks. And then you got to set money aside for taxes, which isn't going to be that much. But yeah, I just got my taxes back. I did them this year already. Okay. You claimed all the income you got from Instacart? Yeah. Okay. I, I brought everything. And you got a refund? Okay, cool. I, I didn't touch it Sick. because I didn't know what you wanted me to do with it. So I just a refund's coming. It's here. It's already how much? A, uh eleven fifty six. Okay. I just got it. But it's in my account. I was like, let me leave this alone and let Caleb figure out what I should do with it. <laughs> <laughs> I will help you figure out what to do with it. Thank you. Help me spend my money correctly. All right, we need to like actually If I make you a budget this time, will you actually follow it? Yes. I, I just need specifics, not like, I need like, you need to put this towards this. You if you went through our budgeting program, you'd be able to do it. But I know. I'll, 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 I'll do this for you. We'll, we'll baby a bit. Okay. Okay. Which everyone needs a little baby in here and there. I need a little, I need a little Wah. baby. Wah. Huh? Wah. All right. Well, <laughs> let's not get people to click off. Yeah. No, right. Sorry. $3,000 a month plus an additional. Say 500 because it's anywhere from four to six. Okay. 500 debt payments total let's get it let's figure it out let's do it not including mortgage 119 gosh your mortgage is incredible people would kill for that i know that's why I, I did all the hoop jumping that i had to do to get it you're lucky you're not paying on your student loans yeah if if, if you if that uh school is actually a scam then yes you deserve to get them forgiven because that's like unacceptable and gross and disgusting of that yeah. school to sell people on getting a failed product right 909 for insurance uh 909 for mortgage insurance property taxes what's yeah. your water bill gas bill electric uh electricity bill utilities i rounded for 60 a month electric it was high this last month but i put two 
two fifty. Ooh. Just to make sure in case it's not it even hot out. It's cold. You have electric heating? Yeah. Oh it's expensive. Yeah. I'll do two hundred. Okay. Yeah, electric okay. And uh internet? Um fifty five. And we're spending on gas. I've lost it. I budgeted about 100 to 125. Okay, we you did 81, but maybe it was a lower month, so let's do 110. Okay. Your phone's 70. Yes. Car insurance you don't pay for. No. Good for you. Groceries, 300. Same as before, toilet paper fund, anything else you need to survive in life, it's $100. Uh, okay, your ongoing uh, medical and health care, what is that? Um... The we had the pharmacy fifty dollars forty four cents. That's just for the pharmacy. Yeah, I have like regular medicines I get every month. Good, good, good. So what did I budget? I budgeted a hundred just in case there's copays and stuff. Like if I have to go to the doctor, yep. it's like okay. thirty forty. Bucks. You have a lot of medical conditions going on. You don't have to give us the deeds, but um, not really. I mean, I have like the normal stuff, like checkups and stuff. I just go do that every couple. Do you want us? Okay, I might get somewhere with this. You do not have to tell us there is not a single ounce of pressure. Okay. Well, your medications. What are they for? Um, asthma. I've had that since I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, high blood pressure. Okay, that one. Uh, Going out to eat less will very much help with that one. Yeah, true. I'm, ju- I'm just throwing that out there. It's been better. Let's, like, b- let's budgetly help our finances, absolutely. But let's uh, physically yeah. help ourselves. No, I mean... Over- and I'm saying that as like... Chunky boy. So over the last year, I've lost about forty-five pounds. Come on, come on, get in here. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so eating out less is gonna help. And then yeah. the, if you do the uh, grocery budget and stuff that we have in the class, you're actually gonna lose weight with it. Yeah. It's it's a healthy uh, the amount of calories you're supposed to have on a daily basis. Right. Plus a little extra too for dessert and stuff. But if you you know maybe we don't do that. Either way. Um, all I'm saying is that there's double benefits. That, that's what, that's the point that I was trying to get across. Right. So there's double benefits to not eating out yeah. um, in your situation, which is great. And then that saves you more money down the road regardless. Because, you know, it, it, clinically, uh, people are size. You know, I can speak of this as someone who is, you know, technically obese. Um, that gets expensive later in life. Yeah. That's why I'm trying to make, st- like, change stuff now to where I can good. get off of stuff. Good. Good, good, good. And imagine the energy and amount of money you could go make. True. Yeah. Oh, like doing the Instacart shopping, that definitely has helped. Because I'm out. Oh, I'm yeah, not, you're I'm going. not just sitting on the couch oh, and stuff. Damn. I'm out shopping and bending and lifting and walking upstairs. So When I was delivering Jimmy John's in college, I was hot as f- <laughs> And now I just sit here. <laughs> okay, cool. So uh, is that it? Am I missing anything from your budget? Uh... I have like monthly subscriptions. Nope. It's well, for, what it's, are they? What are they? What for, are they? They're for photography and then I have nope. Spotify. What do you mean? No. How much do you make from photography? It depends. It depends on if I have a, a extra gig. What is it? Um, An Adobe subscription? Uh, yeah, I have Adobe and Shootproof. What's that second one? Shootproof. It's a way to like. Does she have that? It's a way Does to. Does she de- need that? Shootproof? What does it do? It, it's a way for me to deliver files to the clients. Oh, come like, on. How much is it a month? $10. Uh, you're probably better off doing a Google Drive subscription or a Dropbox. Yeah. yeah. I used to do Dropbox, but I like this. What about Google Drive? How, how, how they much, can pay how much through it. Shoots? I'm sorry. How, how much is your uh, least expensive shoot? Least expensive shoot. How much does that cost? Uh, like your, your clients. Like 200 bucks, maybe? That's that's not worth your time. That's 120th. That's, that's way too expensive for a shoot. Way too expensive for a shoot. Professional photographer right there. It's a 120th is immediately taken just for transferring. I'm a professional photographer too. No, I know, but like he <laughs> has like a whole career going on. You don't. I'm sorry. That's not insulting. Well, it's insulting. Sure, but you don't. I work for a company. No, 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 no. And photography work- career. Yeah, I do that on the side. Oh, you do? do- oh, good gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, I was just... I Listen. Listen, it's Friday. It's late. I'm tired, and I feel like a dumb... You're right. You do photography for a living at yeah. the job. I meant I meant what the extra stuff that you're doing on the side. Yeah, like you portraits get like and real estate. And okay, stuff. whatever. How much for your subscriptions? I don't even care. I'm not going to push 30, back. 35 Anything else? Pets. How much? 135 yeah, you have to, uh, uh, just like last time, you have to make that extra money because you just break even. 
Yeah. It's essentially three thousand dollars a month to survive. I mean, it's two thousand nine hundred and seventy six, but I mean, that's probably not a hundred percent. This is like your loose budget. You go through the program and you get your solidified budget. Yeah. An extra twenty four dollars and you're at your cap. So I'd be looking into different post work options. Okay. Like I would not love to see you do it, but for the sake of getting out of debt, I would love to see you go work an extra 15, 20 hours a week. Okay. Somewhere after work. And that sucks. It sucks. But look where you are now and look how no progress basically you made in the end because of a couple things that popped up, which happens in life, but also then you went and spent on fast food and a bunch of shit. But either way, I don't think you have America card, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you do that, man, you can, you can start paying off shit. Five hundred dollars, which you should set aside for taxes. Let's say even a hundred. Okay, so four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. How much should? Sorry. No, oh, go ahead. How much do you think I should make? Like, what what should my goal per week be? Extra income, so mm-hmm. I know. I don't know. I'm, if, I'm I don't not... know Temple as much, but I would love to see you bring in an extra seven hundred fifty bucks a month. Fifteen hours a week at like twelve bucks an hour. Okay. An extra thing. That's huh. incredible. I mean, then all of a sudden with that, you have essentially a guaranteed thousand dollars a month in your pocket at the end of the. On top of what I already have. Oh, shit, you're right. I got to take away that 500. So it's actually 250. Okay. So just get a little bit more. Yeah. When, when like. So, so if I set my goal at like $200 a week for Instacart, that's just what I'll do. If you can, but remember depreciation on the car, that's already in a bad situation. Gas. Yeah. Now you can sure you can write some of that off, but right, or deduct. But either way, I just like that because it's flexible. Like I can work. I get that, but I also like you getting out of debt, so I don't really give. A well, I I'm mean, sorry. As, as long as there's money coming in. Yeah, but legally. again, the depreciation. What happens when that car breaks? Then you don't have that extra job. I mean, that's what happened with my last car. And it, then your it, family gave you a car, from the sounds of it. Yeah. Okay. What happens this time? I have to buy another car. Yeah. So we go into debt. So our yeah. situation just gets worse. Yeah. I'd rather you just. I, as much as I hate it, McNugs throwing those bad boys out the window, you know? Oh. Like, yeah, I know. I say things weird. It's just, no, it's that's okay. That's how I've always been. I was like, you want me to deliver <laughs> nugs? Okay. Y'all, this is the time to switch to my favorite high-yield savings account. With SoFi, you can get 4.6% on your money. I hate when my money is just losing value, so make sure you're keeping up with inflation at the very least. You can also get FDIC insurance on that money up to $2 million with them. Plus, they'll give you money up to $300 when you set up an account with them. There's even extra perks like being able to get paid a couple days early. SoFi is what I use when I'm setting money aside, and it is the banking app of the future. Sign up, link in the description below. I always want my money to be making more money, so don't lose money on yours. Okay, so you let's say of the 500, you have only 400 is coming in. Not including your student loans or mortgage. Yeah, you're at like $20,000 of death, insanity, debt, which... After the $400 you can put towards on a monthly basis, it takes 48 months or four years, which is just about where we were last time. So you're doing the thing where we said where you would be last time, but that's if you follow the budget. You're not following the budget, so that's why you stayed the same. If you actually follow the budget, go through the program, you can be out in four years. And do you know how quick a year goes by? I'll tell you. I just saw you a year ago. You'd be a fourth of the way through this. A fourth of the way through this. That's incredible. But now you have to start all over again. That's what kicking the can down the road does. So now you're going to be 38. And you're dramatically behind in retirement for your age. You will be dramatically behind in retirement for your age. So what you need to do... Listen, uh, the next two months, the extra money that you get in, including the tax refund, you're, so you're taking the tax refund right now, put in your high yield. Then the next two months, the extra money that you get, put in your high yield. Then you have $3,000 saved up on the side. That, you know, go make more money and make it just one more month. But either way, what you're trying to do is get $3,000 in there. That's a one month emergency fund in case anything happens. Okay. It's not going to cover the car, but yeah. it's going to, if you lose a job for any reason, you know, you, you're good for a month. It gives you wiggle room to go get, just go out and figure shit out. Right. So, um, the care credit, the uh, promotional time ends the 14th of March. And it's like, the one that's due in March is like 3000 So, should I just let the interest hit it? I didn't want to. Is there back interest? I'm assuming. 
If there is, I would try to attack that as quick as possible. So that's what I was thinking of using my uh, tax return to like throw at. Listen, you can. It just you're, puts you in a riskier position. Typically, I start this as get the one month emergency fund because it helps l- offset your risk. You can, but, but it puts your risk level a little higher because it keeps you at basically a thousand bucks in emergency fund, which. Believe it or not, Dave Ramsey is not even close to enough money. And many people have come on the show and they did the $1,000 emergency fund and then they ended up in a worse situation than they were before because it's not enough money to cover anything in this world. It's not. So, and they say, oh, it's not supposed to. Then what is the point? I mean, I know what they say the point is, but even still, if it puts you in a worse position, then don't do it. One month emergency fund or the money guy rule cover your highest deductible. So... You can. It just maxim. It just brings your risk level up. It brings your risk level to where it is right now. Yeah. And if you're comfortable right now, but shouldn't be. But I'm not. But that's where it is. And then the next four months or two months, go make more money. Yeah, get to that three thousand from there, and then start paying off the debt. Uh, and I would, you know, kill the care credit as quick as possible. Yeah. I really just you can avalanche or snowball. I think you're going to be more of a snowball person. Stop putting little bits of extra towards the debts. That's that's not a method that works for anyone. Because uh, you're just going to see like n- uh, the feeling of no progress. Yeah. That's- Close your credit cards. You're not a credit card person. Stop spending your daily spending on that other credit card. It's stupid. Budget. Follow the budget. Follow the program. Join the Discord. Learn how to use technology. It's a very simple thing. It's like a, it's just a text app. It's so easy. Please. Okay. Just, uh, just because if there's a good community there of past guests cheering each other on, asking questions. Okay. Like, just please. It's there for a reason. Yeah. And you need help. You're, you're not in this alone. And ask us questions this time. Yeah, I will. I didn't know that. I, I don't feel comfortable asking for help a lot. So. Well, please, we're here. I mean, our process is different. Now we have producers and stuff that, you know, they're, uh, they help better explain what the post-show process is where me, when it was just me, you know, there's a trillion things to juggle and I probably missed some communication along the way. But take advantage, dude. This is a life-changing opportunity. With where you are, the amount of debt you have, on average, seven months, 8500 for people without the high incoming outliers, mm-hmm. the income out, outliers, and without the like selling something and paying off the debt. We took out those outliers. The yeah, average yeah. person who comes on this show, seven months, 8500 That's basically half. That's basically half. If you follow the average, you finish this, in a year and a half, year and three, you finish it in two years instead of four. That'd be good. Hopefully, I can get a new car if I do that and hustle. I don't care about your new car. Drive this thing until you can't anymore. Well, yeah, I'm gonna drive it till the wheels fall off. But I mean, I harmed myself at some point in this episode. Look, I'm harmed. Yeah. I'm harmed. I'm harmed from you not making any progress more than this. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you have any questions? Any final thoughts? No, that was really it. Just the care credit um, deadline coming up and when you think I'd be able to get a different vehicle, afford a different vehicle. So, Well, when can you actually afford it? Uh, In this current progress, probably five years. And that's not acceptable. So you have to go make as much money as possible. I'd get a job where you don't have to drive and pay off the debt as quick as possible. And then uh, you can follow the money guy rule, which we can get you set up with, or even save up enough money to buy a five thousand dollar car in cash, catch up on your retirement, and then get like a ten thousand, uh, fifteen thousand dollar car after that. Okay, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. Yeah, I know. All that. <laughs> no, I meant like. That's, no, I know. That's it with the stuff. For returning a budget, going to give you a three out of ten because you did make progress, but it's still ridiculously disgusting. Debt two out of ten because you have some family debt, which is never great. Emergency fund, you're a tenth of the way there, so one out of ten. Retirement, very behind for your age. Two out of ten, at least you have something. Three out of ten. Real estate, glad you have a house. Good mortgage. Rate is meh. Seven out of ten. Uh, Hammer financial score, three out of ten. Make sure to check out all the resources link in the description below. They are what I use or would use in specific situations, including the best budgeting program in the history of the internet. Thanks to all of our Patreon producers for making this episode possible. If you want to participate in an episode of Financial Audit and you're able to make it to Austin, Texas, please fill out an application in the survey linked in the description below. You can also send a link to your friends or family who you think might be good to be on the show. If you have any questions, you can email casting at calophammer.com.